Right, next mission, please. Ah, uh, we get an armor repper now. So, we trained the skill for armor repers earlier, I think. Hopefully, hopefully we did. And now we can put this on here. Oh, get this out of the way. And this goes into a low slot. But now, you know, it's our capacity deplet depletes within 28 seconds. Uh, that's with everything running. So, if you don't switch on your afterburner or your civilian dampening field, we have 1 minute 8 of repping time. So, um, yeah, we aren't cap stable anymore. But that doesn't matter, we're not taking much damage anyway. So, let's undock. Um, that's, that's an opportunity when you hide that. Let's warp to the location. Now, you really, you want to activate this armor repper after you've taken some damage. You don't want it on all the time if you're not cap stable. It'll use a massive amount of cap, so that heals 90, uh, 69 HP per 5.7 seconds. How much HP do we have? 300. So it's actually, it's, um, what's that? One sixth of our HP. That's pretty good. Maybe one fifth. Um, but the hail comes in at the end of the cycle, so it'll take nearly 6 seconds to go all the way around, and then you get a bu burst of healing. Maybe we can get into a bit of um, armor damage on this mission, to demonstrate it. Uh, what are we doing on this one? I didn't even read the mission text. Destroy the pirates. Uh, yeah, if you get low on hit points, simply warp out and regenerate. Yes, you can do that. So, if you aren't being warp scrambled, just warp out and warp back in. The um, the NPCs in Eve, especially in the missions, aren't very smart, so you can just do things like that. Ooh, we got a lot of ships coming in. Let's let's kick it up a notch. Well, that one actually dropped loot as well, so we're gonna approach this one and see what he dropped us. Probably isn't much. The early missions in e uh, Eve. The uh, loot is very bad. Let's have a look. Metal scraps, great. Estimated disc price of 1,600. Uh, we'll loot it anyway. Right, let's go. So, we're not taking any damage at all. Let's hope we can get all of our shield gone and take some armor damage, but looks like it's not going to happen. Uh, probably don't even need this afterburner. We're just only for only orbiting these guys. I uh, got two more coming in. Okay, let's head straight towards the other guy. Or is he over there? Oh, he's moving fast. Oh, I've taken a bit of damage now. Good. Good. Finally, taking some damage. So, um, you do have to watch your health. Because I've done it before, I've just been watching TV or something, and then all of a sudden I've got no health left, and then I've got no ship. I know it's happened to Feral quite a few times, and I think um, that's probably why she quit the game. Because of that. <laughs> if you have your audio on, though, there is like an audio cue when you reach 30% um, or something. It starts beeping at you. But if you're a shield tank, it's probably too late by that point. Well, if you're any kind of tank, if it starts beeping, it's probably gone too late. Oh, we got another container that we can open. What have we got? Passive targeting array and metal scraps. Let's loot all that. Oh, I'm not in range anymore. Oh, there's another one. We're not in range of that either. Come on, let's get in range. Turn around, little ship. Okay, one ship left. Okay, let's loot that one. Loot the next one. Alright, um... Oh, that's the mission finished as well. I didn't, wasn't even paying attention, right. Let's dock up. Didn't take enough damage to get into armor. Okay. I wonder what's next. What was what was the reward? Okay. 
um, 93,000 isk and 93,000 isk we finished within 2 hours 11 minutes and obviously we have that's probably not even 5 minutes we spent there so back at the station Docking permission requested Docking request accepted Right Let's complete the mission Alright, well we got weapon upgrades. I don't know what that does. Let's have a look. 5% reduction per skill level in CPU needs of weapon turrets, launchers and smart bombs. So that means when we fit our ship, these modules require 5% less CPU. And at the moment I think they use 3 CPU. So probably does nothing for the small ships. For the bigger ships it probably does quite a lot. Um, let's train it anyway, why not? It's good to have all these, these um, skills, just at least within your um, skill queue. Or if, at least not in your skill queue, but you're able to train them when you need to. And level 1 takes very little time, well, 16 minutes, that's nothing. Um, it does stack up quite rapidly, so Mimitar Frigate 3 is 7 hours then it probably goes for a few days and then probably about a month to get to level 5 at which point it's maxed out next mission then fly to the hotel retrieve the VIPs if some, something's amiss report back if something probably is amiss let's face it it's a combat mission rewards okay um, can I click that button yes uh, that's not the rewards. Overdrive injector system. Now this is a low slot. Requires hull upgrades level 1. And these just increase your speed. Your sub warp speed. At the expense of cargo capacity. So, minus 15% cargo capacity, 10.5% more speed. And they are passive as well, so they don't use any capacitor. I oh, know, there's something amiss. Let's have a look. Ship computer. No life signs. Uh, large collider structure. What was she saying? Uh, our large collider structures, please. All right, so we're gonna. I can't see which one to click on. So, open overview settings. Uh, entity. Scroll down to large collider structure. Oh, look, there's loads of stuff. Floating corpse. Yep, that's a floating corpse. Yeah. Um, I should have really read what that was. Uh, oh, there's my ship. Uh, there's the hotel, apparently. Um. Yeah. Should have probably read what that was. Uh, let's approach the hotel. Yeah, it should, it should just blow up the hotel. Why not? Uh. Oh shit! <laughs> no! Don't blow up my ship! <laughs> oh, armor wrapper, armor wrapper, that's the one. <laughs> they fly off. Oh shit. Oh no, it's pirates here. I need to dock up. Come on, little ship. Switch all the modules on. <laughs> right, there you go. There's the armor repper in action. And there was some uh, audio cues as well there for the... Um oh, there goes one. It's just filled back up. Let's switch that off now. Um, audio cues for when your different tanks, uh, your shield and armor drop below a certain percentage. There's also one for hull, but if your hull drops below 30%, you don't stand much of a chance. Alright, so it was a smart bomb in the resort. Hmm. Alright, we've got the overdrive injector systems. I don't think we can... Oh, I think we need hull upgrades 1, which we don't have. Uh, put one on, can't use it. Alright, whatever. Uh, 
Okay, this one's going to give us a stasis webifier, which is quite nice, so that'll allow us to slow down other ships. Not so useful in PvE, but um, PvP definitely useful. I know everyone uses that, because I've um, been caught by it quite a few times. Just go through a gate and then all of a sudden, webs everywhere. Uh, <laughs> right. Destroy the... Uh, confirm what? Ah, uh, yeah, yes, that's fine. Just undock, please. Um, destroy the narcotics warehouse and then report back to your agent. Let's go. How much is we on? Six hundred thousand. Um, so you can actually play the game for free if you buy something called a Plex, which is a pilot's license extension. Um, so to put it into scale, we have half a million, just over half a million, and a Plex at the moment is selling for. 840 million. So, you could do this for a few hours, you know. Maybe more than a few hours. Probably 12 hour days for a month. But, um, that's not going to be fun at all. <laughs> um, but you could always buy a Plex outside game if you want some ISK to get you started and sell it off in the game if you don't mind paying for its subscription as well. Um, We'll get you started nicely, but I think it tends to make new players um, buy stuff that they shouldn't really be flying, and then lose it, and then they're losing real money, which is pretty bad. So, you can do it though, you can actually, um, if you really want to, you can pay for the game uh, with in-game currency, but play if you play enough, but um, I found it took the fun out of the game. And I have no problem paying the monthly subscription. Especially for a game as great as this. Alright, I don't even know what we're doing. Oh, we're destroying the narcotics warehouse. And we're looting stuff. And um, we can't loot that one because it's too far away. But it's only metal scraps. So... Oh, actually there's more ships just walked in, so maybe we'll grab this. Right. Um, oh, I wonder if we can just head towards the gate. I wonder if the gate will let us through. It might do. Sometimes it does. Let's just head straight for it. Gun it. I got the uh, afterburner running. Ah, yes! It wasn't locked. And we're gone. Oh yeah. Right. What do we have next? Destroy the narcotics warehouse. We still have the collidable structures up, so let's head straight for the narcotics warehouse. What's that? Radioactive cargo rig. Okay, there's the narcotics warehouse. Alright. I'm going to ignore the other ships. I just, just want to finish the mission. What's their bounty? 3,000 disc bounty. I don't care. Right, we've got the narcotics warehouse. Ships are going to aggress on us. Let's try to keep at range. We want to keep at range at at least a thousand meters. Um, so I'm going to hold my left mouse button here. Go to this one here. Keep at range. Let's go four thousand meters. That'll do. And hopefully that should keep us at range. I'm going to switch my afterburner off because we don't need to move fast. I'll target another ship just in case I need to. Right, so we should stop at four thousand meters away from this thing. And because the ship's and nothing's moving, we'll hit. We should hit perfectly each time. If we're within our optimal fall off, we're within our fall off. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, explosive deflection shield on. Field gives a bit more resistance. Probably take a little less damage. And it looks it's looking good. Um, the structure's taking a long time to get through. I think we're eating fast, uh, eating through a structure faster than they're eating through my shield, so um, I'm going to left click on the station and then I get ready to dock up. Just have to wait now. Um, I was wondering, maybe I can move a little bit closer, do a little bit more damage. No, I don't like that. I want to keep a range at 2,500 meters. 
The reason I'm staying at range is I think this might actually explode and do damage to the ship. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, it's about to, about to die. And we're docking up. Straight away. Uh, there was a cargo container there, but I don't think... I think it's probably drugs which um, can get you blown up in high sec. In high security space, that is... Um, on the top left here you have a security status. We're on 1.0. And high sec is anything above 0.4. So if you're in 0.5 to 1.0, that's high sec. And that is the area in space at which police um, operate. Um, if anyone attacks you in that those uh, 0.5 to point, uh, 1.0, the police will actually blow them up. You go below that, and um, it's free game pretty much. Um, what to note though is. Um, people can still kill you in high sec. It just means the police will kill them. But if they can kill you fast enough, they'll still kill you. So nowhere is safe. Right. What are the rewards? A stasis of the fire. Let's complete that mission. And let's equip it. I think we have um, a space slot. Yes, we have two mid slots. We can't use the web fire, which is annoying. What are we training? Weapon upgrades. Pulse from jamming, 23, uh, 23 minutes. Alright, um. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sure we don't need it. 